Hello friends, welcome to the channel. My name is Christina. Right here in front of me, I have a package from Poi and Han. This is my first time ordering from this company, but I've been following them for years. I'm excited to open this up. Um, the reason I ordered from here um, is because as I'm sure by the time I posted this video, you guys will have known that I switched my planner system from a daily to a six ring planner. And so I needed, needed um, inserts. And so I knew that it was time to order from this company. Oh, cute. I didn't, I didn't even order this here. Oh my gosh, this is really, really cute. It's so tiny. Like, I want to give this to my niece because I feel like she would, she would just look so cute carrying this. Let's see. Yeah, so I didn't order this, this tote bag. It just came with it as a freebie. Um, I did order this. I purchased this ruler, this snap-in ruler for my planner. And um, it has gold as the color of the text. Really pretty. I think it's going to go so well with my taupe planner. These are some additional freebies here. Word of the year and a little quote card. You have always been enough. Now this I did order. Um, I did order this one here. This is just a card here. Didn't even realize that there are little checked boxes here with lines. But I wish you guys could feel this. It's so soft. Not soft like bed sheet soft, but like, it's just like creamy. It's creamy. If I could describe paper as like creamy, this would be it. Also ordered some of these mini home dot stickers. Um, they're really, really tiny, but there's like a little coffee cup. This is, I think, a stove top. And then a dinner set. I mean, that looks like an oven. A truck. Cleaning supplies. Flour and a little hammer. I ordered this because I want to use this for just like a weekly setup because I do a lot of house things. I am a stay at home mom. This is just gonna come in handy for when I'm planning out my days. And then I also picked up this dashboard. I love it, it's so pretty. Let's open this one up because it is frosted. I think you can still see through it, but it's not clear. You see how you could just kind of see a shadow versus like seeing clearly through it. I love it. Like this is going to look so pretty when I layer it in my planner. So I had to pick up some inserts. I picked up two. Oh, actually I picked up three. <laughs> So I picked up the 2023 quarterly and monthly inserts. I realized when I started buying inserts for an A5 planner, I might have ordered one too many monthly overviews. So I picked up Poin Hun's 2023 quarterly plus monthly inserts. I wanted this quarterly and monthly inserts for my personal life. I specifically wanted Poi and Hun's 2023 quarterly and monthly because of these. I could use this as like a section for my monthly goals, but then this is quarter one, quarter two, three and four. And then, oh nice, we get a vision board here. I wonder why it says 2022 here. We have a 2023 year at a glance. And then it goes into the monthly overviews, but it looks like we have um, a monthly overview starting October 2022, which is, which is really nice if you ordered it then. Here in the top left-hand corner is your top three. Um, maybe just like, what are the top three priorities for this month? And then there's a notes section here, which this is gonna be really convenient for listing out my monthly to-do list. Now, 
The reason why I prefer a monthly overview that spans over two pages is because I need space to write in each box because this is my catch-all. This is gonna be um, where all my appointments are. It's gonna catch all of like special events that I have going on, um, play dates, date nights, um, travel plans. This is gonna have my entire schedule. Like I said, I'm probably gonna remove October. So let's just do that now. Okay, so let's get rid of that. What I'm gonna do, because this is March here, I think I might take, well, oh, I do not wanna get rid of this. Okay. So I want this year at a glance, but like when you see the October 22 was on the back of this, what I'm going to do is glue these two pages back to back. It goes straight from 2023 to March 2023 monthly overview because that is the month that we are entering. So we have March, April, May, June, July, and then probably all the way up to December. There we go. And then, okay, so the very last page is a 2023 review. Love it, I love it, I love it. So excited to put this together, you guys have no idea. Alrighty, so next pack of inserts I picked up is a social media insert um, because I think I might have mentioned this before. I was using a Happy Planner Classic for all of my work things. Um, I found it very beneficial a couple of months ago using a separate planner for my work stuff because a couple months, I mean, I'm still a new mom, but I was a very brand new mom a couple months ago and it was really hard for me to focus on work. And so having a separate planner was very helpful because when I opened that planner, it helped me focus on work. Um, but now that I have a better grasp on my life schedule, work and being a mom and my YouTube stuff, um, I think that I'm ready to just have one planner for myself. And so I picked up these social media inserts. The very first page starts with, with just like an overview. Right here, you have your quarter one, two, three, four goals with social media. And then here, I'm not really sure how I'm going to use this, but my understanding is that you have the months listed here, January to December. And then I think what I'm gonna do, since these top boxes are blank, I'm gonna fill them in with the different social media accounts that I post on. So it'd be Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, um, I could probably do YouTube Shorts as well. I'm probably going to write down how many videos I post um, in each social media platform in each month so that I can see how consistent I am. I don't know what to do with this section here. It has Monday through Sunday listed here, and then there's four rows here. So I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna use that for, but if you guys have any ideas, please let me know. And then there is a note section. So like I said, this first page is just a overview of the year. And then the following page, we have a note section and then it enters into each individual month. So it breaks everything down. You have weekly goals here. You have a little mini monthly overview here, which this is so freaking nice. I would pop stickers in each day whenever I was posting something. And so those stickers would correspond with a list here that I'm gonna place in the notes section for what I'm posting in that day. So we've, like I said, we have a monthly overview, weekly goals, a note section, hashtags, and then what are some goals for next month? It looks like, let me see how many are included in here. Okay, there are 12. <laughs> there are 12, so it will last you an entire year. I'm really happy that I got this because this is gonna help keep things 
nice and organized. Um, and then I also picked up another insert here, but this is just super simple. It's just a to-do list insert. I picked this up um, not just for social media, but I just love the idea of popping in one of these to-do inserts in the middle of the week because that week maybe I'm traveling and I need to create a checklist of all the things that I need to do in preparation for my trip. Um, also, I like to meal plan and so I love writing out my grocery list. I love that I got a bunch of these because this is really going to come in handy. Anywho, that is it for today's video. I love everything that I purchased from Poi and Han. I love the quality of everything. It is so nice. And I also forgot to mention that the color of the paper from Poi and Han, I believe is a true white. Um, there isn't any cream. There isn't a hint of blue. I feel like the inserts here are a true white. I do love just the quality of all of these items. I can't wait to put together my six ring planner. I will see you all in the next one. Bye.